Good morning. It is time for our Bible study. Thanks for joining us again today. You know what time it is. It is time to get into the word. It is a word for today. It's the last day of June, June 30. You know that already. We have been in the Bible each day, every day, reading and studying and sharing a chapter every day for 30 days, the whole of June. And so we've come to the end of this month, but we're still at the very beginning of this journey. Thank you so much for taking the time. As always, I am not alone. I am here together with Elvin Sibanda. Elvin, welcome. Thank you for accepting this invitation and, uh, and you're ready to share from God's word. Thank you so much, Pastor P. Thank you so much for having me. I'm more than ready. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> now, um, Elvin, you are a fourth-year theology student. Yes, Pastor This P. is your final year. I know you're writing um, exams right now, and you have one semester to go. I'm praying that God blesses you. He started this journey with you. He's carried you thus far, and may he continue to bless you until you reach, uh, reach the end. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank okay, so now, much. Elvin, um, where are you coming from? Uh, I'm coming from Zimbabwe, Pastor, but for now I'm originally based at I'm based at jo Johannesburg. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Can you um can you share with us something from your language? What language do you speak um in Zimbabwe? Okay, I speak in Debele. Okay, I speak in Debele. I will teach you just one word in Debele. It me it is Somanza. Okay, which means God is all powerful. God is all powerful. Say that yes. one more time. Somanta. Somanta. Yes. All powerful. Yes, he is. God is all powerful. Thank you for sharing that word. Give us another um, meaning of, of a word. Your name, Elvin. Do you know what the meaning of your name means? Yes, I know it, Pastor. I know it. Uh, my name is from an old version English. Okay. It means a noble friend. A noble friend. Yes. I hope you have your own Elvins. You have your own <laughs> noble friends. I am here with my noble friend, um, yes, Elvin. Pastor. But we're coming to the most important, important word for today. Yes, Pastor. Genesis 30. You've read it. You've studied it. You've looked at it. What is your word for today? Uh, my word for today, Pastor, is kind of strange. My word for today is die. <laughs> Die. Die. You could have chosen <laughs> you could have chosen any word in Genesis thirty, a word which I'm asking that you could encourage our viewers, that you could inspire our viewers, that you can edify our viewers, and you chose the word die. Yes, Pastor. Okay, before I ask you why, why die? Oh my, why die? Um can you read um, the verse where we find that word in the chapter. Okay, I'll read it, Pastor. Okay, what verse is it? It's Genesis 30, verse 1. Genesis 30, verse 1. Please get your Bibles. Don't take our word for it, but go to God's word. Um, if it's not in the word, it doesn't deserve to be heard. So let's go to Genesis 30, verse 1. And what version of the Bible it's, are you it's reading? King James Version. King James Version. Not only an old-fashioned name, but an old, <laughs> old version of the Bible. Let's go to Genesis chapter 30, verse 1. And if you can read that for us, please. Okay, Pastor. Uh, verse 1. And when, when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. Wow. So we have this... Um, I don't know if I can call it a threat from Rachel. Yeah. Rachel can't give, uh, give Jacob any children. Her sister Leah, on the other hand, have uh, given many children. And yeah. now the wife says to the husband, you give me children or, or I die or else mm. I die. Yeah. Um, now here's, here's the important question. Why did you choose the word die? Okay, thank you, Pastor. Uh, I read this other quotation for Les Brown. It says, The richest place in the world is graveyard. Okay. Why? Because in the graveyard, that's where you find books that were never written. Mm. That's where you find songs that were never sung. You find medicine that was never invented. Mm. 
simply because someone out there was failed to live a purposeful life. Mm. He failed to take a step towards reaching her dreams. Okay. Now yeah. I like it. I like <laughs> that. Uh, no, not the word die, um, but, but the, the meaning why you chose it and, and that we need to live a, a purposeful, a purposeful life. life. Yes. yes what else can you tell us? Um, what lessons can we learn from, from this chapter and from this word? Okay, we, we will use this word interchangeably, Pastor. We will use it literally and also figuratively. Okay, we have the theologian here now. Okay, yes. tell us. So figuratively, uh, I want to say living a purposeless life is like to be dead while living. Mm. Living a Christless life is to be dead while living. Mm. Living a life without a vision is to be dead. Mm. So for us to, to live a, 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 purpose, a purposeful life, we have to have dreams. We, have to, we don't have to give up easily. Mm. Like, like, like this lady here who said, give me a child or else I die. Mm. She wanted to die before her time. She wanted to die before she, she, she gave birth to, to, Jesus, to, to Joseph. Mm. We all know what Joseph did in, in Egypt. Yeah. So had she died before she gave birth to, to Joseph, we're not going to have a Joseph Have the, the story of Joseph. And this is just the beginning of, of uh, the story of Joseph. We haven't yeah. got there. And if you want to know how the story ends, you need to keep on reading. So we're just in the first verse, but read the rest of the chapter. And Elvin just, just concentrated, just focused on, on Joseph. And that is true. But don't forget Benjamin as well. How, how, can you, how can you forget Benjamin? Benjamin was the youngest son of, of, of Rachel. But read the story for yourself. And I am sure, we are sure that you will be blessed. Are there any final last words that you'd just like to share with our viewers? You've given us this motivation, this inspiration based on living a Christ-filled, a Christ-centered life. What else could you, you share? Your final words, your final uh, thoughts for our viewers. Okay, what I, I will say to the viewers is that they have to die. Okay, just keep, tune, keep tuning in. I, I hope nobody <laughs> switched off right there. Um, I hope that's not the end. Yeah. You have to die. Um, is, is there something else to that? Okay, die having fulfilled your purpose. Oh, yes. Die having fulfilled your purpose. Okay, you have to die having fulfilled your, your purpose. purpose. I think he paused for effect there. Yeah. But thank you for, for, for that. And um, I would add to that, if you have to die, die in Christ. Uh, sure. The Apostle Paul says, I die daily. That commitment, being consecrated and dedicated to God. Can you say that one more time? If you have to die... You have to die having fulfilled your purpose. So that means you have to know your purpose yes. so that you can fulfill your purpose. Thank you so much for that encouragement. I'm going to invite you just to pray based on the, uh, what we've shared right now. And we don't want to forget our students who are writing at this time that God may bless them as they are fulfilling, preparing for their purpose. Yes, Pastor. Let's okay. pray together. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, in Jesus Christ Almighty name, thank you, dear Father, for your presence in our lives. Now we pray, Heavenly Father, that may you be with us, reveal, dear Father, in our lives our purpose, so that, dear Heavenly Father, we will be able to fulfill our purpose in life. We pray also, dear Heavenly Father, for students who are writing as we are writing our exams. Help us, dear Father, in a special way to pass all our exams in Jesus Christ Almighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you once again, Elvin, for being with us. It's the end of a month, but tomorrow it is July 1, and we can start again going in God's Word. Tell a friend, share these messages with them so that we can join together in this journey through the Bible. So I'll see you tomorrow in Genesis chapter 31 on July 1. But, uh, but before that, I'll see you in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let us know and, and you can answer. You can uh, give your insights. Tell us your word for today. But until then, may God richly bless you. Mm -hmm.
Thanks for watching. For all your queries and comments, questions and answers, observations, applications, reservations and consternations, you can leave them all in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. So don't keep the past to be channeled to yourself. Don't be selfish. Go and tell somebody. Admit it. You liked that, didn't you? Hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the Past the Beat YouTube channel. I don't want you to miss any content, so make sure that you leave. <sighs>